Hello scrappers and e-waste lovers, this is David here from A Day of E-Waste. Um, we'd like to thank everyone who subscribed, gave a thumbs up, commented and a big thanks to all that watched. It meant a lot and I was genuinely surprised by the amount of views I got considering the camera work was an absolute disaster. Look, I know it was. Anyway, I hope to improve as I go on. Uh, enough about that, I'm here to talk about filter papers today. When I started out first, I was a bit overwhelmed by all the information I was absorbing. There's a lot of information out there. With the research I've done, it seemed that Wattman filters were the go-to filter papers for recovering refining of metals for the hobby refiner like me and like you. For me, the Wattman filter seems to be very expensive to buy and ship to Ireland, especially since Brexit. I'm sure anyone who is watching me now will be familiar with three tips. I was talking to him via email and I asked him would he recommend some filter papers for gold, silver and platinum group metals refining, as in a slow filter, medium filter and a fast filter. Yes, I know I was talking to three tips. I know it was only an email, but still I was so excited when I seen the email from him. I was so excited to open it. This is what I got. In the email, Shree Tips recommended a Wattman number no. 1 filter as the fast flow, a Wattman number no. 2 as a medium flow, Wattman number no. 3 as a slow flow, and Wattman number no. 42 as a slow filter for very fine particles, and that's an ashless filter. The Wattman number no. 42 ashless filter. If you're familiar with Shree Tips videos, he was very excited about the Wattman number no. 42 ashless filter. He used them for the first time in his recent videos in the Platinum Refining series. They're very good for very fine particles. If you want a good clean, clear solution, this is your filter. As mentioned, I found the Wattman filter is expensive. I found an alternative brand called Johnson's Filter Papers, as you can see in the background. I bought them on eBay. I found, them, found they were reasonably priced compared to Wattman filters. On the website, they also do a comparison to compare the filter size to Wattman sizes. Here is a sheet with all the comparisons compared to Wattman's. I bought four types of filters. I bought the Johnson's Grade 304, which is the same as the Wattman filter number one. And that costs nine euros for a hundred sheets. The Johnson Grade 303 is the same as the Wattman No. 2 filter and that was 17 euros for 100 sheets. The Johnson Grade 302 is the same as the Wattman No. 3 filter and that was 19 euros for 100 sheets. And the Johnson Grade 351 is the same as the No. 42 Wattman, the Ashless filters and they were 21 euros for another 100 sheets. Here I have an example of a used Johnson 351 grade filter, which is equivalent to the Wattman number no. 42 filter. As you can see, I filter some very fine particles from a pregnant gold solution. It was very dirty solution, but after the filtration, the solution was crystal clear. As you can see on the opposite side of the filter, absolutely nothing was passed through the filter. I was very, very impressed with this filter. If you have fine particles that you need to filtrate, I would highly recommend the Johnson Grade 351, which is the equivalent of the Wattman number no. 42 ashless filter. Uh, when I'm out in my shop, I will demonstrate the filters further and I will filter some dirty solutions and we'll do a comparison on them. Okay, thanks for taking the time to watch. Please like, share and subscribe for further videos. Please feel free to leave a comment on videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching. A Davey West.